Hello everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Prison Architect 1.0. We are in Chapter 2 of the campaign, after the last time going through the sort of death row general overview type tutorial. Someone has set our beloved... What is this, canteen? You know what? I actually really like the design of this canteen. I mean, it's so smart. It's got all this extra room. I mean, I never build my prisons with this much extra space. I hate pretty much, like, there's maybe a one-by-one, one or two-by-two two at best, like, space between things, like, just around the door and whatnot, and then, like, a one, anyway, anyway, I'm getting all over the place with the little bins, I don't, I don't know why I never use these bins, I'm pretty sure that garbage actually gets thrown in them, and of course you have these TVs here, and I don't recall this particular type of table or chair being in the base game, if I'm entirely honest. Let's uh, zoom right on in there. Can we, can we find that? Let's type in table. Table. Yeah. That one table with the meals and everything on it. Someone special, apparently, who gets to sit there. Okay. Also, let's see if I remembered the lessons from last... Ooh, also, this is cool. I never use these pipe valves, either. Which is silly. Why, why is this not? No canteens accessible. <laughs> Just everyone's miling about doing absolutely nothing. Right, can you uh, hurry up a little, please? Alright, load her up. Alright. Oh, god darn it. Can I, uh... There. Oh, wait. If I just... No. Okay. Can I shift-click and... No, I can't. Dash it, all guards. <sighs> okay. You know what, let's get all these people who are not actively doing anything useful. You just go over here and get out of the way, would you kindly? Okay. And, uh, shift click on you two as well. And move them over to the fire area. Yeah, where's the other guys? Hurry up. Uh, you serious? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh huh. There we go. Actually, you know what? Gosh darn it, workers. Get get out of here. No one wants you right now. Can I not click on you? Go over there. Go over there. You know what? I'm gonna sack all of you. You're not doing anything. Oh, it won't let me. Oh, wait, I think it did. Never mind. Okay. You guys, uh, you wade right on in there. You see, this is an example of bad design. <laughs> I mean, why did they not have a... Let's, uh, get you guys over here, shall we? And by bad design, I mean, like... Obviously, it was intentionally made this way so that the, uh, fire is... Going a little too fast. Alright, let's, uh... We're also being very, like, terribly inefficient with how we're... Managing our firemen. You circle around. All right. Yeah, you guys are there. You are there. Isn't there supposed to be a fourth one of you around here somewhere? Apparently, he decides to. Stay. Wait, can I just click on the? In oh my god! I can click on the individual firemen in order to actually do stuff. Well, live and learn, everyone. Live and learn. I try. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, also, uh, before I forget. Okay, we've extinguished the fire. You guys can leave now. Thank you for your services. You're no longer necessary. Oh. Oh my god, what happened to you? My god, there's a survivor in the wreckage. Did I give the guy a new voice now? Apparently. Oh my goodness. Are you the one who started the fire? Are you Garfield Linz? Christ on a crotch, it's Darren Palermo. Of all the inmates, it just had to be our mob boss. Yes, of course it did. Nice touch of the burned outfit, by the way. The bad news for him is that budget cuts have meant we had to sack all our permanent doctors. Ooh. The good news is our infirmary is still unstable. Apparently I can't keep a steady voice with this guy. <laughs> it's still usable. Hire a couple of doctors and they'll take care of Dan Palermo while we sort this mess out. Okay. We need to clear up this mess. Use the bulldoze tool to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. You need to remove all the debris. What? What? Debris? 
Designate a garbage zone adjacent to the road. Our workmen will dump the wreckage there for the garbage trucks to dispose of. Finally, can you send those firemen home now that they've done their job? Already done. I've added more details in each of these objectives into your to-do list. Anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objectives and you'll see additional instructions. Why do I f insist on giving that one guy a voice? Also, hell is about to break loose. Okay, so, rooms. Thank you for highlighting. Uh, staff. How many doctors would you say we need? Hire more. Oh. I fired a bunch of guys, and... Come on. Uh, do we, uh, have anything resembling an infirmary? Oh, are these, like, luxury cells or something? Cool. Oh, and that guy's got something on his neck. Interesting. I am very interested by all of this. We'll hire two doctors. Okay. And clear the wreckage. So, bulldoze. Everything must go. Everything? Really? That's not normally how I would do this if this were my prison. I would just build over it. And we'll speed on through. Oh, now what? Good work. Let's check up on our casualty. Oh, I love these cutscenes. Look at that guy with his gun. And I pointed at the screen even though that makes no sense. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, these must be the mob guys. That's what the little... That's his bling or whatever. His... Show his street cred. Or... Position or whatever. Uh oh. Oh dear. No, don't die, Don Palermo. I gave him a deep... Yeah. If only I could do a... a what, what's his name? Um, from The Godfather. What? What's... Oh, I forget the actor's name. Uh, Marlon Brando. I, I can't do any... Any kind of impressions even close to that, so I'm not gonna try. Well, I think he's trying to say something. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's... Which of you cock-sucking, faggot-banging, rat-pissed motherfuckers did this? That's probably the most profanity you're gonna see on this channel. No one did this to you, Pappy. It was an accident. Oh, I should be reading their names. Nico Tamaretti. Intra it's a lie. One of them did it. There's a power struggle going on here. It's all a ploy. Cut your stinking mouth and listen good. The both of yous. That's as close as I get. If I knew which of you fucks started the fire, I'd snap your stinking neck. But my time is done. I'm gonna die in this fucking bed. Jeez. Don Palermo certainly has a... Yeah. Of course it's understandable. He realizes he's dying. He could become Two-Face, though. And there's a family business to run. The Palermo name is all we've got left. So you do the honorable thing, you dirty pieces of shit fuck. <laughs> Capiche? <laughs> we know what to do, pops. Ah, Sonny Palermo. How did he get a cig- Oh, what am I kidding? The mob gets special privileges. All that bling and cigars. You're not supposed to have that in prison. But obviously they do, because they've got connections. My prisons don't have that kind of preferential treatment. Of course, technically there is no mob in the regular game. Watch your fucking back. Ooh, skinny guy. Threatening the fat guy. Never a good idea. This isn't over, Nico. Ooh, boy. Without food, these inmates will be tearing the walls down within a couple of days. Oh, I forgot this guy's name. <laughs> or voice. We've got to secure the prison before we end up with a riot on our hands. This is the deployment screen. From here, you can control the tactical deployment of all your guards. Why am I even trying to do voices? I'm not that good at it. Oh well, practice makes perfect. Deploy a spread of guards to all cell blocks and rooms. Assign ten guards to stations around the prison. That should be su a sufficient show of strength for now. I also want to patrol around the inner courtyard where we will be building the new facilities. Okay. These are all good ideas. Oh, you're not done. 
Anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective and you'll see additional instructions. That is good to know. Example. Deploy ten guards. Alright, let's do it, shall we? Alright, so what we want to do is we'll have a, a general patrol that wanders around here. Now you're going to get to see what my kind of canteens look like. Alright, we'll, uh, how many guards do we even have? 25? Alright, we'll put one on each corner. Now, technically, that doesn't really mean anything. It just means that there's going to be four guards, and I'd just like to think that by spreading them out, it means that the guards themselves will actually be spread out. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I only needed two on the... <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is how I like to do it. Opposite angles, just to presumably mean that there'll be a good spread. Okay. Oh, we might as well keep time going while we're at this, so... Five. Actually, we'll six or three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. A bit more than actually required, but you know, my. Oh, now what? We have a lot of work to still to do. We need to turn our attention to replacing the kitchen and canteen. First, we need to rebuild the kitchen. You'll need to install several pieces of equipment and hire some chefs. Once that's done, build a new canteen. Once you have all that completed, the chefs will automatically start preparing meals for the entire prison. If you aren't sure what to do at any time, try highlighting the objective in the to-do list to see some hints. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, the way I like to do these sorts of things is, uh... I put jail doors, but then... Where's those metal detectors? Because all prisoners at twice a day end up going through the canteen. It's a perfect choke point to, you know, do spot checks, as it were. Um, I don't think we're going to be playing this prison long enough to have to worry about, uh... We'll put a staff door on either side. Because why not? Yeah, we don't need to worry about prisoners actually working in here. Now what's your problem? You not believe what I've just been told. I'm pretty sure I keep changing the voice on that guy. <laughs> Smuggling goods. Our guys were dumping some of the old foodstuffs. They discovered packs of narcotics and bottles of alcohol hidden in the cr Oh dear, I overdid the power. Discovered pa- uh, yeah, we already read that. And this is a very real danger that you'll encounter in your real prison. We suspected the Palermo family of smuggling into the facility for some time now, but we've never been able to determine how. Really? You have terrible security compared to me. Some days it doesn't just rain, it pours. Also, it's a good thing you have me as the architect now. I'll take care of these things. It's not like my prisons were notorious for having contraband come in. Yes, yes. Don Victor Palermo, boss of one of these coast's most feared mob families. The Palermo's eluded the FBI for decades. Anthony Palermo, the Don's eldest son and natural heir, ran the day-to-day -day operations. Nico Tamaretti wasn't a made man, but was welcomed into the family business when he married the Don's only daughter, Vitalia. And Sonny Palermo, the Don's second son, the runt of the litter, obviously metaphorically speaking, temper like a pit bull and only half as smart. Their empire ran a narcotics train from Maine to Florida. That was until Anthony got caught in flagrant delecto. Flagrante Delecto. Oh. Oh, that's cool how the stories all tie in. Shot dead by a jealous husband. Fortunately for the family, police at the scene found 12 kilos of uncut cocaine in Anthony's sports bag. Wow. Wow. Ramos did a good job, possibly. And the evidence led straight to the top. Ho <laughs> ho. Shouldn't this be marble? Maybe not. Overnight, everything the Palermo family had built up crumbled to the ground. The FBI had everything they needed to ensure they'd all rot in jail. Also, this is probably going to be never a never slightly longer episode. Which leaves Vitalia, the Don's daughter, the only living member of the family who isn't behind bars. 
We don't know much about her, other than that she always kept outside the family business. It's a plant. But somebody on the outside must have been sending those drugs in. Exactly. Oh, it's the dawn. We could have quite a serious narcotics problem on our hands here, but we can't deal with that yet. We've got our kitchen and canteen up and running. Our chefs will work on preparing food for everyone, which should cool things down. I'm concerned that the fire was clearly deliberate, and we don't want a repeat of that. Install a sprinkler system over the new kitchen and canteen and connect them to the water main. See? See? All prisoners have needs. Those needs directly impact how your prisoners behave. Right now everyone is starving hungry, and that's what all the shouting has been about. Food is one of their highest priority needs, and you ignore it at your peril. Prison is just a few failed meals away from a wall-to-wall -wall riot. This is very true. You can monitor the needs of all your prisoners from the needs report, which you can normally access through the reports icon in the bottom right. Exact. Oh my goodness. Report shows the combined needs of all your prisoners. Red means a lot of prisoners are angry about this particular need not being met. As you'd expect, food is red for virtually everyone. These prisoners are also very bored. The prison is in a pretty shabby state, which is reflected in their environment and clothing needs. It's your decision, as the resident prison architect, which needs you will try to attend to first. You can install televisions in their cells to keep them occupied, hire some janitors to clean the place up. Or you can just ignore your prisoner's needs altogether and rely on force to keep your prison under control. This is true. I've actually seen a prison where, like, everyone is, like, in lockdown, like, 24 hours a day, basically. And there's, like, one guard for every prisoner so that they, they can't fight back. I'll leave it up to you. Okay. So, uh, where's the power in all this? Power? Oh. Oh, no wonder I wasn't able to get away with it. We need more... More power. Okay. Take care of the needs. Let's slow things down. Recreational needs. What does it want me to do in order to build some common room place? You know what? We'll build a common room. Because I like the idea of that better. Oh my god, look at all those prisoners. Um, you guys rioting? Or? I think they're rioting. They're probably not happy, but oh my goodness. Oh, or they're all coming to handle the environment needs. Okay, let's get some janitors in this place. Just an army of janitors. More janitors. That's more than I'd probably. I believe I take care of myself. Or worry about myself. Objects. Sprinkler again. Calm down. Okay, we'll wait until those are built. Now what? We've had an incident in the showers. There's a body. Oh god. Actually, there's two bodies. Luckily for us, we've got cameras in- What? Cameras in the showers? <laughs> when you get a moment, click on the Polaroid in the showers and we'll take a look at what happened. Alright, so... I think what I'm going to do, and you'll have probably... I guess seen the effects of this by the time I'm bringing it up. Ooh, I like what they did there is I'm probably going to split this into two 15-ish minute episodes. Okay. Harrison Gullick. I mob hate. I want to handle the environment needs. Needs? Needs. We need more chefs. That's probably completely not the case, but... I say do it anyway. I want to run a good prison. Or then again, what do I care? Oh, I almost take took care. Come on, 98. Yes! Okay. On to the Polaroid. Let's roll. Oh. You've shown an admiral dedication in taking care of your prisoners' needs. Well done. Why, thank you. You'll probably have noticed by now that the major remaining gripe among the prisoners is the lack of clean clothing. If you want to take care of this need as well, You'll need to run a laundry service to gradually provide all your inmates with clean clothing. Also, is it just me, or is this guy's voice getting gra more and more gravelly as I go along? Build a laundry room and hire more janitors to start providing clean laundry to our inmates. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Oh. Cutscene time. Or flashback time. Oh. Ew. He urinated himself on his way. That wasn't there before he passed over, right? Interesting. Hello. 
perfect. <laughs> she gave that guy a kind of dopey voice. Should I try giving these guys these voices? No, I'm not confident enough to try. You took your time. Cut the bullshit. I never did know what that whore sister of mine saw in you. Again, as, like, just adorable as these graphics are, <laughs> I mean, when you actually consider the subject matter, they're being very authentic. This her idea? Off the old man? Is that what you think, you fat fuck? I didn't mean for him to get hurt. I love him like he's me own father. Me own father? What was I trying to do there? <laughs> I'm sick of seeing this family brought down by your stupidity. The fire was meant for you. Oh. Oh. Then consider this repaying the favor. Oh, and it's just... Oh! Oh, he's got a garret. And a scar on his eye. Don't come this saint. We both know you plan to take me out one day. I'm trying something with the voices here. Yeah, you always were a smart guy, Nico. Look where it got you. Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. Oh. Scar, scar eye there. I told you, watch your back. I'm not being consistent with whatever voice I'm trying to do with this guy. Oh. Oh, come on, you've got the weight on him. Sonny boy. Have you met Frankie before? He's got a unique talent for piano, or with piano wire. <laughs> Honestly, by the time he's done, they'll think it was suicide. <laughs> oh. Nicely done. Oh, wow. He's taking them all with him. Well done, sonny boy. No one got out of there alive. Oh wait, he did, actually. Fantastic. Looks like the Palermo family is running out of members. It's a plan. You can bet the Palermos are selling those narcotics onto every con in here. The guards are telling me they've seen a lot of prisoners showing signs of withdrawal since the fire. I want you to search every prisoner in every cell. I bet we find Palermo's drugs all over the prison. That means it's time for my favorite part of all. Shakedown. On the positive, it's not as bad as it could have been. There are definite problems with drug and alcohol dependency. We need to help these men. It's the only way of curbing their activities and dealing with their symptoms. Start a drug treatment program in the infirmary. Our doctors will administer a chemical substitute that will help alleviate the cravings in our addicts. For the alcoholics, there isn't a chemical substitute, so I suggest we start group therapy sessions. Oh yeah, see? There it is. You'll have to build a new common room to run those meetings. Already done. To start new programs, go to reports in the bottom right of the screen, then programs. Anytime you're unsure what to do, hi yeah, yes, we know how to do that, thank you. Oh my goodness, people died today? Oh yeah, they're, they're ODing all over the place. Oh, there we go. Very good. We've made a real difference here, and I think the prison is back under control. You can stay and improve the prison fervor, or we can move on to the next facility. When you're ready to move on, click on the Polaroid in the infirmary. Alright, we're gonna do everything. Whatever needs are we not meeting. Anyway, but I'm gonna cut away and then when we have everything under control, I will yeah, show you the fixed prison and then we'll get ready to move on. Okay, I'm not really sure why this one is not triggering, but this one is. Since I don't think there's anything more I can really do to, uh, actually get people since I am running these anyway let's uh, wrap this episode up here it's I've been recording for a while and if I'm really lucky maybe I'll be able to cut this down into an act into one video but I suspect we're gonna have to break it up into two parts maybe I'll put both parts up on the same day I don't know as of yet but uh, yeah next time we will click on this get the cutscene move on to the next chapter and uh, see what 
uh, intriguing plots within plots are next. Also, what is this? A drink machine? In the infirmary? Hmm. Who knew? Anyway, thank you as always for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Your support really does mean a lot. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Prison Architect.